so thank you, uh, Lisa, for taking our time. My name is Joe. I'm from Anime Hack. This is Maris. Hi. Um, my first question for you, you probably got asked this a lot. So you did lean in verse, and that's a huge role. How did it feel like almost like 15 years later coming back to it? We did, yeah, so 10. 10? Uh, 15. <laughs> Ten, those five years to take a little bit of time there. No, it was awesome. It was awesome. Um, all of us were super excited. It, we had, we sort of had heard about it beforehand, so it was sort of this thing where we, like, all of the, at the time, when we first heard about it, most of the cast members were all, we were all still in New York. I think mm -hmm. uh, Eric left and went, um, and moved a little bit after that, but we would sort of meet up and be like, did you hear this? Do you think that's actually going to happen? <laughs> like, that's so cool. So uh, we were all super jazzed about it. So going into it, there was a lot of hype because it was just, I, I feel like that was one of those shows that was just like special for everybody who was oh, yeah. working on it. And then um, when we finally got the chance to do it, it was, it was actually kind of like going home into it. So it, was, it, it sort of all kind of comes back to you as you, we, we, yeah, it, um, it all kind of came back to us. There was an incident where we, like I would, there, I was telling a story to someone before where we had they had the dragon slave and they had stuff and I, I had believe it or not had that memorized for many years. So it, I, I think it had to do with coming to cons and doing things like that. So I, I that was one of the first things I did. I was like, oh, hey, you know, I know the dragon slave. I used to recite it perhaps not I mean, perhaps slightly inebriated at night after conventions and try and stop buses. But that's another story. Uh, it doesn't work. Um, but uh, but. So we were in the studio working on it, and the the dragon slave was on. And I remember talking to my director, and I was like, "Hey, I'm like, just let so you know, I'm like the, the text is a little bit different over here. It's not the way it is. Like, really? How do you know that?" I'm like, "I memorized." <laughs> <laughs> then the next day in session, Crispin Freeman called in. And we're like, "So Crispin, uh, Mike Cinder Nichols was in the studio. He's like, so Crispin and I are talking, and he says that maybe the dragon slave is wrong." I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, "So yeah, so I feel like we were. It's a show that we were all very invested in. So it kind of felt like putting on like a little, like a little very nice." You know, I was about to say, you're definitely one of the prominent voice actors from like the mid 90s when anime started really becoming popular. And then, like, it evolved first, and then it comes back, and it comes back to like with one of your iconic roles, mm -hmm. obviously, is in the universe. And then you have the director of the current Pokemon series. Uh, yes, I just, I'm currently now, I, I directed there until about like a, like a year ago. I still work on the show, but I directed for, um, I was there for about five years, and now I, I, I head off, I do a lot more uh, game stuff and things like that. So, oh yeah. Yeah. Like what's, what game have you been? Currently? Um, some of the the, the directing stuff. Like I, I'll do I'll do stuff for a game. I think I had done some. Um, I did a modern combat for like a, Oh, the Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, the Dark Knight Rises, and, the Dark Knight Rises yep. and stuff like that. Yeah. So, so tell us about theft in your life. <laughs> <laughs> I've done well, my own kind of cosplay. It's fantastic. Oh, yes, I mean, we've 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 become good pals. I know. It's going good. <laughs> And we match. I approve of this. I approve of this whole entire situation. Yeah, so first of all, and um, who are you wearing today? That's absolutely, the shearing is incredible. Thank you. Um, I am wearing the... Planet Cosplay. I, Planet Cosplay Runway. I, mean. I love it. I'm, I'm wearing something from New York. That's just what I call it. <laughs> <laughs> because it's from, from New York. But I will tell you about theft in my life. Um, and just as a general disclaimer, I want you know, this is my first time in Colorado mm -hmm. at all. Oh, wow. So, yeah, it's the first thing, and the first thing that happened as soon as I came up is that the altitude hit me in the head yep. tremendously. So I feel like a half hydrate, convention. Hydrate, I've hydrate. been hydrating, and I feel, I feel sort of like, you know. Tipsy. Oh, yeah. I felt tipsy the whole time since I, since I came up the boat. So, you know, who knows what you're going to get out of my mouth today. But, um, since the. You came off the boat. Did the I boat, like see? Yeah. yeah. That's what I, that's what we call planes in New York. We call them boats. It's a big thing. No, we don't talk about it. But um, yes, I am here today because of a car theft. That is all. Um, uh, I started doing it while I was in school, uh, while I was still in school. And um, I had actually taken off semester because I got mono and went home. And my car as well got mono. It couldn't, it wouldn't start, it wouldn't turn on. And so I went back to my parents' house and I left my car outside. And as my older brothers want to do, um, I woke up in the morning and it was gone. Well, no, the night before he's like, hey, Lee, can I have your car keys? It's exactly what my brother sounds like. Exactly. <laughs> if anybody asks you differently, it's not true. He sounds exactly like that. He's like, hey, you have my car keys? I'm like, no, my car's broken. Don't take it. He's like, yeah, yeah, okay. So I went to sleep. I wake up. My car's gone. Everything. I'm like, whoa, what's going on? And I get a phone call. It's like, hey, Elise. I'm like, Jer, where, where are you? What's going on? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, um, uh, yeah, you know your car doesn't work? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's you. why I told you not to take my car. He's like, okay, yeah, well, I just wanted to let you know it's at George's house. And then he hung up. <laughs> and I'm like, who the hell is George? <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? So I start calling friends. I can't find anybody. And another friend of mine, Rob, 
calls and he's like, hey, Elise, where's Jared? I'm like, I'm like, I don't know, but do you know who George is? He's like, George, sure. I'm like, my car's there. Can you help me? So he came. We went like I had to go on this whole elaborate, strange sort of like journey <laughs> to find the car. He picked me up. Um, and a there, hunt. there was a treasure hunt. Yes. There was there was a bizarre <laughs> carnival. It ah! was, if you've ever seen the movie Something Wicked This Way Comes, it was like a bizarre <laughs> carnival of like these strange. Taken a banana. I am frightened. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. There's fr- I I almost had a banana. I don't know. There were oh, no bananas in this story. Happy. But I. <laughs> The Deadpool altitude Deadpool. affects us all. No, I know, I know. It's all good, but you know what? And I've quite forgotten my story. All I know is there was a, there was a strange white tiger in a cage, and there was a, the, the lemurs. Not the white tiger. Yeah, the white tiger in the cage. I don't, you've seen them. That happens. Set the soleil. Um, oui? <laughs> I don't speak the French. No. no it's just we. No. It's, it's all right. But that's all right. I speak the Spanish, and I speak the English. Of course. So. But I'm going to wrap. They're going to now. <laughs> French. I, I, I'm going to just assume that I'm still stuck in some bizarre alternate, alternate, uh, altitude universe. It's good. As um, our podcast, we're going to put it all in French underneath you. Oh, please do. Actually, people translate everything. This is my, this is my French, uh, you know, the way that I like to do. Um, but so what ended up happening is at that thing, then they were looking for people to come in and audition. And then I went, I just see, see, did you see that? I brought it back. I brought it back. <laughs> I touched your banana. That was weird. Um, no, but seriously, you just I, my I, I did. But you know what, though, it's okay because I use, I use, um, I have a, I have a, hand sanitizer. That's the word yes. I was looking for. Thank you, thank you, Allah helping me with my But yeah, so and it wound up going, and that was where I had my first audition from over there. So it's in a weird roundabout way. Eventually, got the car fixed. It was car battery. It was a whole big thing. But um, who is George? Weird, uh, George is still to this day. George is a warm guy. He is just my brother's friend hanging out. He's on Long Island. Hi, George. If you're listening. <laughs> you played a large role in my life. Little did you know. But years later, my brother did a lot of cons, and so they would. He would come up to me afterwards, and he's like, "So, um, why why do people keep coming up to me and saying you're the guy who stole the car? Like, are you what? You're the Ortiz's brother. You're the guy who stole the car. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, that's what you get. Years later, he's like, it's weird. <laughs> Next time, you know, don't steal. Have you ever cosplayed before? Um, you know what? I have not cosplayed. Like, I have never cosplayed my characters. I haven't. I I have thought about it. Like, as this year is something that I might do over at um, uh, Comic Con. Just because we're, we're doing this, like, I think I have friends who put together their their yeah. costumes mm-hmm. and do all stuff. But um, and I like it. But I have not. The most thing I have done. Unlimited is, budget you have. I'm giving it to you. What would you do? Who would you do? How would you do it? Oh, this requires this requires some this requires some thought. Okay, let's because, get back to the standard. Question. No, 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 Tell no, no. But no, because I'm just saying, it would be a robot. Because it would be I would go back to Voltron because that was when I started off, oh, and really? I would be uh-huh. the princess in the car and the cap, but it would have to like be like be able to move and all this stuff, and then I could go in and Unlimited come out. Unlimited budget. Way. Unlimited I'm budget. That would be a, great. A full warehouse. I have well. All right, that's going to take time. To pick it up. I, I do, actually. I don't litter, not even in the news. That's very important. We have people here. Um, Voltron, nice. Yeah, well, I'm, and there's, I'm sure there's like other, there's, but it would, I would, if, if you have an unlimited budget, you know, yeah. maybe I would be like one of my characters inside of that so that you can jump out. It would be like, there would be like costume changes. It would be as you walk down the hallway. You've gone through like five characters. Skin changes. That's okay. great. Oh, and could I carry like wind and like a light machine that comes over in there? That's great. That's so that what happens you. in Costumeception. <laughs> in Costumeception. Oh, that would be perfect. Like the little Russian dolls. <laughs> Every time I turn a corner, I turn into a different cosplay outfit. So no one can follow you. It'd be great. Um, so I have a question. Because uh, you did the four kids version of Chopper. Yes. I wasn't working for four kids because there was a lot of controversy of One Piece at that time when they released it. Well, it, it didn't, and this is one of the things, it didn't affect us on, on us. I'd worked, I've done a lot of work with oh, yeah. kids before then and after then, and it, working with them is great. They did, they put a lot of stuff in there. The thing that a lot of people don't realize a lot of with that controversy is that because everything that they did went to network, well, there's a different set of rules. Like we had the same thing with Shaman King also, is that uh, people were upset because they changed things. Like there was someone like they changed a cigarette, like a cigarette or one of the other things to a lollipop and all yeah. these things they would roto out. But those were rules that you had to like work around. We couldn't say, they couldn't say things like, I don't think you could even say dead. 
which is really amazing in a show where it's all about <laughs> ghosts and the afterlife. But so there was a lot of stuff that they that they changed because they had to. Um, so it's interesting getting the you know getting the feedback and everything. I I personally like we try to separate that because I don't have you don't have control over yeah. it. A lot of times you don't have control over what's happening or what's going on with that. Um, I enjoyed it. I loved it. Loved the, I love the show. Still, you know, still love it on there. But as far as like the controversy and stuff, like I, you know, it's it's a lot of that stuff when you're dealing with those things are just out of yeah. they're out of your hands. Yeah. They're out of the the producer's hands. But yeah, and I still, you know, I've worked with them a lot. And you know, and I know people have have uh, have issues for us to the original and that because that, yeah. Uh, if you saw the network, if you saw the network standards, and then you look at the original stuff, because you look at like I remember some of the scenes, and I was like, all right, I'm like, that's cool, but they will never allow that. To, <laughs> they will never allow that to air on the network that they had it on, mm -hmm. and that's why it's like now. And also, it has different. Yeah. It has it, there's it, it. I think it found like a place that has more of you know okay. that, mm -hmm. that has the outlet for it over there. Yeah. yeah. We have to sanitize everything. Yeah, know, no, we? and that's it's like Pokemon. Originally, not so happy story. Yeah, well, I mean, come on, you've got children wandering around by themselves. You know, it's not. <laughs> and I'm not even, you know, and then I'm not even going to talk about the life particulars, like the fact that he hasn't changed his clothes in ten. Well, he has changed recently, but uh -huh. ten years. I don't want to know. You know, you well, don't want to walk around next to those. Well, I. I know. Sorry. I, it's all right. I have allergies. I can't. Oh, it's good. Good. It works <laughs> How has voice acting changed from the mid '90s? Like when you first started, like doing uh, like D lit and stuff like that, like way early to how it is done now. Uh, there, it, it's it, it's an interesting because we were right on the edge of where it started to get to yeah. it, it, mm -hmm. where it started turning into what it is yeah. now. So it's sort of it it it's gotten more refined, if not necessarily like changed greatly. But there's a lot more emphasis on people have figured out how to do the how to do the script, how to do the adaptations. A little bit tighter. The uh, ADR process is is quicker as far as things go in. You can you can see a bit more on that. There's a lot more. They've opened it up to a larger group of performers and, and things. Because I think in the beginning, yeah, there was only was, a select few voice actors. Yeah, and it was also well, in the beginning it was also it, it was it was a little it was a little gorilla. You know, like yeah. they came and mm -hmm. and you grabbed. They would grab people in the room. They would grab people in the studio. And they're like, let's just put it in. They just wanted to try and get it out there. And I remember like a good friend of mine. Um, uh, Shin uh, Kurokawa, who used, they used to work on stuff, he's like they did. They just, just like everybody else, they didn't know what they were doing, and eventually it became a process. Yeah. And uh, and now you have a lot more feedback. You have a lot more people in. A lot more people take it, uh, take it seriously, as as it were. Like like, and I mean, people outside of just the anime world. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. So um, and a lot more people know what it is. So I feel like that changed. And and I think um, shows like Pokemon and and then Dragon Ball Z also like mm -hmm. changed it tremendously yeah. as far as who was interested in who was interested in watching it, who came out and what I saw stuff. But the process itself it's gotten way more um, technical. And I think I but and I think it's it's I think it's great. And they've had more, you know, yeah. and directors. And stuff. What was your favorite character to revisit? Or would if you could revisit one to uh, voice again? Uh to Okay, well, these are all for different reasons. Like, obviously, like, like going back to the numbers was fun. We've done that. I would like love to continue doing that forever. But I played um, a D that we went back to that, and that was kind of fun. But I, I played Shiori in Utena. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's that's usually what I say because she was so like diabolically like just like <laughs> like subtly levelly evil, and um, it was just like a really fun, interesting, different sort of. Uh, Sort of character that uh, we did, and there's a show called uh, Magical Joe Remy. Yeah, mm -hmm. and there's a character called Patino who talks like that the whole entire time. She's like a witch in the blonde, and she was very fun to do. So I get to do that, but um, but yeah, as far as as far as as far there's. There's been like a lot of stuff, but I would say like those if I have to answer because this is what's going to happen. Either I'm going to give you one answer, and then I'm yeah. going to be like, oh, and these six seven things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So we'll go with that. That's the okay. answer. Solid. Cool. Table down. I don't know what that means, but I just did it. Where do you get those inspirations from? Like, are you gargling one day? Like, that would be a great voice. Oh, I have I, my headphones on. Crazy me. Exactly. <laughs> Because I like the idea that I'm gargling with my headphones. My <laughs> I'm like, just in case, oh, I have something to record. No, um, on, 
So, I love that that's what I sound like gargling. <laughs> you have little faith. Um, I've been stalking you. I, that's, that's all right. You know, I, I'm, I'm, that is exactly, I am, I am, um, what was the question? No. Um, <laughs> I know. Uh, no, but seriously though, uh, a lot of it comes from just people. Like sometimes you have people you do, sometimes you, you, uh, you're just kind of like soaking stuff up. And a lot of it is actually looking and seeing the character. So you kind of get a sense mm-hmm. of what you want. But, um, I had a lot of, like, Lena Inverse had a lot of uh, vaudeville inspiration because mm-hmm. that's that's also something that I, I like, community-wise oh, do, yeah. do a lot of, and I'm very interested in that. So that so she had a lot of stuff from there. And other stuff was, you know, it's just the same kind of stuff that, that we all, like, grew up on. And, it came, you know, like, I had a lot of Disney inspiration. I watched everything, every possible animation and talked a lot with it when I was a kid. And um, then, you know... Some of them just come from people I know, like my mom. <laughs> this is my, this is, this is my, as I, if I ever go into this, that's me doing my mother. That's <laughs> exactly. Only, uh, only um, when you did Lost Universe, you also yes. did the main character in that too, which is pretty much, in my opinion, like a futuristic Slayer. So was it pretty easy just to go hop in the booth and be like, oh, I, I got this done. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's... Yes, but you try, like, it's like you're still trying to, like, do something that's different and, yeah. and, and not over there. But it's, like, that's, it, it, it's like a two, it's like a double thing. Because people start to see you in one yeah. sort of way, and then that's why you sort of, like, go into it. But, yeah, but that, that um, yeah, the, that, that kind of world is the world that I like in general, sort mm-hmm. of like that, that uh, magical, crazy sort of obnoxious Science fiction world. Science fiction-y kind of thing, yeah. 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 That's my, that's my wheel. That's my wheel. <laughs> mm. So with the con this weekend, you doing autographs later on. Um, what else are yes. you Yes. Okay, outside of the con, what are you doing? We won't talk about the legalization of marijuana. I, yeah, we <laughs> do. We will not discuss that. But I'm just saying, I don't. I don't exist outside of the con. And just oh, you don't. No, no, no. Yeah, exactly. I took a cup of smoke. Oh. No, I'm. I'm hoping that I. That, well, that's the thing. What should What should I be doing? I did. I walked up and down 16th Street. Mm-hmm. I walked around. Um, I. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to get off. I wanted to like hike and, and like go into the mountains or something. But then I'm afraid. Yeah, exactly. I don't even. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a local talent. <laughs> I was afraid I might not it's come like, back. It's like uh, running. You, you end up in the same place you started. Why? Uh, that's 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 very true. It's a dead I'm I'm yeah. I will I will run. I was like run away. That's how I know I escaped. And I'm hydrate. Not start. Yeah, we run and hydrate. hydrate. All the um, but yeah, so uh, we we were able to. I did see. I did get like a tour of this of the of the city. We went on a little thing over here. I did uh-huh. and, um, yeah. some of the museum stuff. But I'm I'm sort of just like looking, going around, and I want to see some of like the local. Club. Also, there's like a lot of a lot of other voice actors, and a lot of other people here that I haven't seen in a while. Yeah. Uh-huh. So um, kind of catching up with that. But what should Tell I us do? one of the bad. Go to Casa the Benitas. One, the oh, one, the okay, Casa Benitas. Uh, definitely the Casa Benitas. Divers. Yeah. Oh, this is yes. Someone yes. told me about this. So what? I don't. There's re- like they like yes. how high are they? Uh, they're pretty high. miles. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's yeah, and they like dive in the middle of the meat in your meal or like and not like, like in your meat. dish, but okay. yeah, like while you're eating, they're just that performing in yeah. the background. It's, did okay. you see the South Park episode with Casa Bonita? Yes, and yeah. I was told that I had to like rewatch it's it before much, I go in. It, it's pretty much okay. exactly as they depicted it. Exactly. <laughs> right. So okay, that's that's a Casa Bonita. Just put sure that on the list. Peas. Yes, just whatever. You just don't eat anything else. <laughs> yeah. If you have anything to do the next day, just don't eat don't. any of the other food. Yeah, it's not. Oh, no, it's yeah. it's wonderful microwaved food. Oh, sorry, okay, so. they're our sponsor. Oops. I have full faith that it will be absolutely delicious. <laughs> Saved us. Yes, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> But um, okay, good. Yes, yeah, so skydiving food. Yay! All right, good. So that that I like. I feel like that's enough to that's enough to cover. But I, and I'll and I'll find out because I um, I will be here until I will be here until Monday. So this is good. So we're oh, getting nice. a little. Yes, yeah, so I have a yeah. little bit of a. That's what um, most you know guests do. It's like okay, well, I'm not going in that crowd when they're leaving. <laughs> yeah, and, and um, uh, you're giving me an extra room. There yeah, you know. well, and they suggested they were like, get here a little early because you might have to deal with the altitude. And I was uh-huh. like, that's not going to be a whoa! <laughs> <laughs> this is great. It's interesting, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Well, like, thank you so much. You are welcome. And I, I, 
I can touch it. I, I like it. It's very lovely. Well, you can touch um, my bag I, anytime. <laughs> if I, if I gave you a nickel for every time, hey. <laughs> The you, get, you have your me. own banana. The Deal with it. killed me. Uh, it's true. It's true. Um, yeah, I... I, I Not I, copyright I, infringement, by the way, okay? <laughs> the eyes are different. It's totally different. It's a totally different thing. I know. But I heard your copyright is very good. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So, I know I'm excited. I'm excited to kind of, like, look around. I'm excited to, to yeah. kind of see stuff. And, then, and also, it's like, for this, this is... This is my chance also to kind of like interact with people and also mm -hmm. I, I find out a lot more stuff that I <laughs> that I want to watch and that I want to do. Yeah. Kind of yeah. 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 So is there anything you're currently watching right now that you really enjoy? Um, right now. Look at and suddenly I'm like, hi. Um, no, there. Well, there's a lot of stuff lately. Lately, I've been busy because I've been taking I've been taking other stuff. I've been trying to I try to watch. Um, I've enjoyed well. Titans is is new. Like I've already watched that, so that's that's good. And like I I just started watching Kill Kill. I haven't seen that. Yet. Yes. <laughs> so and um, apparently I'm I'm behind on my selling and stuff. So I got it. I no no. It's so, it's Netflix, I know I know, but that's the problem is that I have been watch. That's okay. what happens what is if I sit down. Binge watch lately. Oh gosh. Do you um, have time to do that? Sometimes I went through like um. No, I, I'm I, like I, that's the whole thing is I'm not on I'm uh, suddenly I'm like there's the English language and I'm trying to figure out how to use it in sentences. Um, Most I've difficult. Been, it is. It is highly, <laughs> highly, highly, highly difficult. Uh, no, you know I, I'm trying to think like the last thing I've been been I've been trying to like binge watch like old shows but not necessarily even even animation. I like I I want to I'm I'm supposed to start with like. Uh, is it Bojack? Bojack. Bojack. Oh, Bojack. Yeah, but the only thing is, I've told that I should not binge watch that all the way through because then I'll get very sad. So, <laughs> so I'm like, all right, we'll work on that. Um, but yeah, but most of the stuff, I think I, I, I could just finish this stuff. Like I just it stuff. So what should I binge watch? What should, you look very yeah exactly. What should I uh, what should I be working on here? Tell me. Like, there you go. Um, what should I be okay, working? Yeah, what, what should be on my three list? favorite colors? Green. Um, Green Acres. Violet. Um, Violet, uh, the, oh, the little blue thing from that little Charlie movie. Plaid. <laughs> Anything with a scotch in it. <laughs> 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 fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Um, yeah. My banana follow you? I, I... No, it's just that it's so close to your microphone. I don't know what you're listening to. <laughs> Life is hard. Life is as we talk about. Like a banana. I don't know. Exactly. Bananas, Bananas aren't hard. They're difficult. <laughs> I know. What's up with this thing? <laughs> now, I know we don't exactly have a lot of time left, but is there any way we can get you to say dragon, say the whole dragon slave? <laughs> Uh, but if you could, I just, I, without, I can't have it with bananas in my face. It's just a thing. It's a thing that I do. I just sit on. Okay, so. Uh, but I always do it with my eyes closed, so just deal with that. Sure. So, okay. So don't put a banana back if that happens. Um, so. Uh, darkness beyond twilight, crimson beyond blood that flows, buried in the stream of time is where my That's me going backwards in time. Anytime you're in the booth and then you have to go back. Oh yeah. Okay. So darkness beyond twilight, crimson beyond blood that flows, buried in the stream of time is where my power goes. I pledge myself to conquer all the foes who stand before the mighty gift on Okay. I'm never blowing up a town. Look at this. It's the altitude. It's like I feel like I'm an Isaac guide. Okay. So stop. Thank you. Remove the Darkness beyond twilight, crimson beyond blood that flows, buried in the stream of time is where my power grows. I pledge myself to conquer all the foes who stand before the gift bestowed in my unworthy hands. Let the fools who stand before me be destroyed by the power you and I possess. Dragon Slave! Which is how it goes. And then there should be lots of violence and mayhem, which apparently didn't work out this time, but don't worry. Next time, I saved you all. Next time. <laughs> I just heard there was another interview. I didn't want to upset the table. No. <laughs> That's good. But yeah, so for the most part, I have it. Yeah. 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 Wow. 
<laughs> yeah, that's I was joking with someone. It's like the things that you have memorized for some reason, like somewhere in second grade, I memorized a sonnet by William Shakespeare. <laughs> okay, devouring time. And I <laughs> and on my deathbed, those will be the two things that I'll remember. I'll be like, I still Oh, actually, how should I compare that? I'll be like, I'll be like I still remember this sonnet and the dragon slave. That's it. <laughs> These are gonna be my last words on earth. <laughs> I'm like, just come here. Dragon slave. <laughs> Put that in your tombstone. <laughs> exactly. We'll, we'll go over there. I'll just recite it. It's going to be in my mason jar. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think that's guys, all the time Guys, thank we have. you. You guys, I really yeah, appreciate thank you. it. Awesome. You, you guys amazing. are total fun. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Fist bump. <laughs> Wait, where's your banana? <laughs> oh, ooh, I have another one. <laughs> Listen, I don't talk to a man with two bananas. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I do. I, I believe it. <laughs>